Hello and welcome to PlayStation Racer. My name is Mitchell Morgan and today we are back at the World Circuits and we are moving on in the Americas to Willow Springs. So Blue Moon Bay, WeatherTech, all of these ones we've now got gold on, which is good. So Trial Mountain is also gold. We've got two to do at Willow Springs. One is the World Rally Town Challenge Group B, which is the topic of this video. And then we've got the Historic Sports Car Masters. So let's dive into there. First of all, we will check and make sure that we are on the normal settings. Yes, we are. And we will head off to the World Rally Challenge. And we need to change our car. We've got a fair old choice of cars in here. Uh, if we put these in PP order, then the NSX comes out quite high, as does the Toyota. However, the one that I like, and I'm used to the handling, is the Focus. I'm actually going to go with the Focus in this instance. Uh, car settings, we've got dirt tyres on at the moment. I'm going to go with racing mediums, because the race does have fuel and tyre management required. Uh, these are all of my settings. I'm 100, no ballast, power strict is 100. Uh, I've got a high RPM turbocharger on. And I'm going to leave everything as it is. I can always add more changes to this car if I need them. Okay, so let's enter the race and we'll see how we do. This is the World Rally Challenge Willow Springs International Raceway. Big Willow, number of laps 10. Let's get into the video. Okay, so I'm going to try power level two on the floor map for this one because I want to try and get it to lap five. And depending on how much fuel saving, if any, we've managed to do, um, that might help. If you want, you could just go with power level one and obviously take more fuel but I just want the one pit stop in this race. Uh, we're on the mediums, so they will not go the whole distance. I guess you could try hard, but this is a strategy that I've found works quite nicely for, for me. Oh, just trying to get down the inside of the Hyundai. That one didn't come off, just coming behind him for the moment. Should, yeah, it always slipped, broke a lot earlier than I thought. That actually upset that overtaking opportunity. Normally I overtake down the inside. That opportunity didn't come because he closed the door on me. And that was a bump, which has almost definitely done any clean race bonus. But this is all about getting the gold trophy. Likewise, all oh, big slide through there. Don't want to be doing that. It's going to chew up the tires. Likewise, many of you will be screaming at the screen that I'm not apexing and my lines aren't great. There is a reason why I'm not always apexing these corners, in particular the ones on the outside corners, and that is because I don't want to drift off and put a wheel on the dirt. If you do, your race is over, and I've thrown away many a win by doing that. So on this particular track, I give the edges of the track a lot of respect. Try and stay well clear of them. Oh, not a great place to catch up with a whole load of cars. Just go quiet whilst we try and negotiate a few of these. And get down the inside of one or two. Get one. Inside of that one into this corner, but just lose the power as we go over the top another one so got a bit of a different line now so just adjusting the power on the throttle accordingly now we're clear so I'm going to pick my fifth gear on the 200 meter board at third place at the end of lap two which isn't too bad the other two places are right up there in front of us 100 meter board down into fourth up into fifth I'm just going to leave it in fifth through here try not to slide the car around too much that's going to take a lot of life out of the tires and we we do want to get them to fifth lap if we can it's 
So you can make this look really fun by sliding the car around all over the place, but that is going to hurt your tyres and you will probably end up hitting twice. Oh, big slide through there into the gravel. This is the problem with if you don't respect the edges of the track, look how much time I've lost. That's why I try and take it a little bit more easy and maybe not driving the perfectly fast lap, but I try and respect the edges of this track because it will bite you and it hurts. Oh, just on the gravel again as I'm trying to get on the back of these cars in front. They're a long, long way ahead and I should be with them by now. Fifth gear through here. Gone in a little bit quick. Just watch those throttle inputs. Pause, rewind the video if you need to. Like I said, not perfect. This is how I do it. go off again so that's taken me a whole lap and I haven't actually quite caught up with the cars in front that's how much time one wheel on the dirt has cost us a whole lap and I've got to start thinking pit stop soon this is lap four I want to get one more lap on these tires the two cars in front have not pitted my left front is almost completely gone. 150, get that down into fourth now. This car is sliding around a little bit, so just bring in the braking forward a bit. We've got a, a number of cars pitting right now, which is good news, but are the two in front going to pit? You can see I've just changed my gears and speeds a little bit as, uh, as it's sliding around a little bit more. Even the cars in front sliding around a little bit now. That Honda looks a bit loose. Can we get down on the inside of the Honda? Yes, we can. Get it slowed down. Don't run off the track. I'd have liked to have done the Audi by now. Alas, that wasn't to be. And we're on the grass, gravel again. Just managed to hold that one. But you can see one foot on the gravel, one tire on the gravel, I should say, and the Audi is running away. Okay, I think we should be okay to pit this time. Is he going to pit? I hope he is. That will make my decision a lot easier, but this is sliding around too much. He hasn't. Ooh. I'm going to go mediums again. I haven't managed to do as much fuel saving as I would have liked. I'd have liked that diamond to be just over the half full mark. So I'm going to need to take on a bit more fuel than I had intended. I'm going to put plenty in because I'm going to have to really run. Normally I do a bit more fuel saving than that. And I really wanted to come out ahead of this little group of cars. That hasn't worked. Try not to take out too much life for these tyres. get on the back of these looking for an overtake opportunity at the inside I think that's one done no he's still there let's get on the back of this Nissan let's follow the Nissan through go on Nissan go for it be careful not to go too far to the left can we get the Nissan? Yes, we can. Where's that 200 meter board? There it is. Down at the fifth. It's nice to have a new set of tires. Let's not take too much life out of them. 
Oh yes, Han has pitted. That's great news. That should give us first place, I think. Breaking early for this corner. Now, no need to be a hero. Just gonna leave it in fifth through here. Hundred meter board, down at the fourth, down at the third. Again, just turned in over the top. Again down at the third for the rotation. Just off this apex. Oh down at the fourth, I've got my gear wrong there. There's something not quite hundred percent about this uh, G29 wheel. At the moment it's uh, grabbed a gear but it didn't turn up when I was uh, therefore trying to count them. That was a mistake, we should have stayed in six through there. Let me concentrate. 200 meter board down at the fifth. Oh, going a bit too wide there. Where are we? Six, seven seconds ahead of the second place person. Three laps to go. Four laps in the tank. Let's just take this a bit easy and see if we can save a bit of life on these tyres. That will play into our hands at the end. Don't want to be sliding around any more than we needed to. Looks like a few people are pitting again, possibly a second time, maybe the first time. 100 metre board, down at the fourth, down at the third, getting it turned in. Up the top, down at third again. Just watching the line. Get it straight and then fourth over the top of that apex. Careful not to go too far over to the left on the exit here. Just balance the throttle and the brake through here. Again, staying well away from the left-hand side of the track, down into fifth. Again, watching the edges of the track. How are we doing for tyres? That near side front, the left-hand front, still not looking good. 150, bury the brake pedal down into fourth. I just don't want to be sliding too much through here, hence braking a little bit earlier than I need to. more people pitting. Looks like somebody, some of these cars must be on a three-stopper. Hopefully we'll be able to get these mediums to the end. Just negotiating these corners. Again, rewind, review the video, slower speed if you want to analyze this out further again i'm not a an a or an a plus rated driver i'm c at best and uh, this is how i tend to do wrong gear again that was me talking down at the fifth it's turned in come on where are we on have a look see how we're doing get on the straight so 15 seconds ahead that's much more than i thought and we go over the line for the start of the final lap. But look at those tyres. Even driving slower and trying to conserve the tyres. They're still pretty, pretty ugly. We're absolutely fine on fuel as expected. We put more in during the pit stop that was needed, but I wanted to take the pressure off myself on fuel and just concentrate on these tyres. Just being extra cautious right now. There's no point throwing this one away by putting a wheel on the gravel and finding that we are 100, 200 yards into the desert. Careful on that one, that's often where I end up going off. Lots of marbles on the outside of that corner now. Just absolutely no point. I can feel 
the steering wheel at the moment is grumbling like crazy with the state of these tyres. Reminding me that this car is giving up traction all the time with these tyres have just got no life in them. But we come across the, the last corner onto the start finish straight and that is a nice easy gold for this particular challenge in that beautiful Ford Focus RS that I absolutely adore. So we ended up being 18 seconds ahead of the Quattro, um, quite a significant margin and quite an easy win. That was on the normal settings. If you're running on hard, I'd expect that uh, that strategy will probably pay off for you quite well. So there is the first trophy, 65,000 credits. It's not going to be clean but it's all about getting that gold trophy at the end of the day. Well, so I hope that you found this video useful. If you have, please consider hitting the like button. If you're new around here, please consider hitting the subscriber button. I'm trying to build my subscriber count up at the moment, I'm trying to get to that magic thousand by my birthday in July. It would be great if you could support me. If you're a current subscriber, thank you ever so much for continuing to support me. It is really, really appreciated. And I thank every single one of you for continuing to support my channel. Uh, in the meantime, we've got one more race to do at this circuit. So please smash the bell button for notifications of when that video comes. And I'll see you again on that one. For now, take care and thank you for watching. Bye bye.